So I just reacted to Bo playing Graves in jungle and then I saw this video called How Bo Stomps EU West with his 200 IQ strat video and uh, it, it's 9 minutes long and I'm interested in learning more about how Bo plays jungle because it looks absolutely crazy and I would like to just at least look a little bit similar to the way that uh, Bo is playing and have just somewhat the same results as uh, Bo has in uh, US Challenger. So if you don't know who Bo is, he is uh, the new jungler for Team Vitality. Um, he got to Challenger with an 80% win rate, he's currently ranked 2 on the ladder, and um, yeah, he's just probably the best jungler in uh, the world. So um, yeah, let's see this 200 IQ strategy that he uh, goes for every game, uh, at least on Graves. So he buys Sweeper, and once again, no refillable potions, and he ease into this wall, or over this wall, into this bush. If he's on blue side, he will simply walk there. Three things could happen from here. A, enemy jungle or mid towards his raptors, this is true. O, cuts them off and chase them to death. Yeah, especially if they're playing a jungle that doesn't have flash, then this can result into first blood. Which they get here. Worst case scenario... Wait, what did it say? Worst case scenario, he makes them pay with a flash. Yeah, that's true, you can also just do that. If team follows, he invades. Taking... Uh, initiatives and sweep for wards. Okay. With fleet footwork, he can easily chase enemy down. Yeah, because he's playing range jungle, that also makes sense. Sadly, Vlad didn't follow, so Cillian saved Exhaust. Enemy jungler wards river and backs off. In which he sweeps, giving laners a faster level 2. That's true. Then they will hit level 2 off just 6 minions instead of 7 minions. Uh, as a soul laner. He wants to smite Heimling a skew. Yeah, you can do this on Shaco boxes as well. I've explained this uh, so-called bug in uh, in a video as well. No lanes are prior, enemy jungler clears faster. Which means we lose in terms of clear and gank. Yep, yeah, this is true. Let's see how burn uh, let's see how bow turns this matchup around. Yeah, you should almost always start on red buff with graves. This is actually not true. The way that he's showcasing this is actually not true. You will do red raptors and then wolves and then he should do grump and then blue. I don't think he's gonna do uh, blue after uh, wolves instantly. Red Crux Raptors into gank mid. I haven't seen Bo do this. So now it's just explaining basic pathings. As I've also explained it in other videos. Um, I'm more interested in seeing what Bo is exactly going to do. In the last game where I saw Bo play Graves, he skipped his Crux, but in this game he um, takes his Crux. And then he takes Raptors, he will then hit level 3. And he actually also clears the blue buff right after Wolves. Ah, okay, he does them at the same time. Okay, then it's fine. 
if you can't do both of them at the same time, then you will simply just clear um, Grump first and then blue buff. It's a Scholar Crab. No Zatrick has no health, but refuses to protect Dive. Instead, he goes directly to Butt Scuttle. Yeah, makes sense, because we saw Diana uh, path from top, uh, top side into top river. Both should have Umbral Glaive. Wait, why does it not show both items here? Did he not reset? Because it doesn't showcase that he has uh, Shade the Dirk here. I don't know if it's a bug or if he just actually didn't reset and just went from Butt River into Crux. Let me just go back here. It must be a visual bug then, because he's coming from base, so he must have odd full items here. I think it's uh, bugged. Bo pings Diana's position, because they both are on bot side. He knows that when he's doing Crux, Diana's doing Grump. He ends up ganking bot lane, because anyway bot lane overextends. No one can run away from fleet foot where graves, true. Especially not if he has red buff in this situation he doesn't. Doesn't do Drake because Butlane wants to reset. He very often puts this control word in um, Pixel Bush. Out of the two, uh, I've actually seen a few games, I think I've seen like five games, and very often he puts uh, a, control, a control word down in uh, bot side pixel bush. Is he gonna invade Diana's red buff here maybe? Ends up dying. EW to pull, yeah. Also does this quite often just to save a second or two. No Diana some blue buff, cause Graves on red buff. Yeah, it's bugged because right now he has Umbel Glaive, it just doesn't showcase in the items. So it's a spectator bug. So yeah, he simply predicts that Diana's gonna be ganking bot lane and then he counters it by, instead of counter ganking, it simply just takes away Diana's entire top side, maybe even takes uh, Rift Herald. Are you gonna tower dive Panfin here? Panfin was like somewhat low HP. Uh, he's simply zoning the Panfin away. I'm actually ulted back into top lane. Again, both bot lane ends up dying, but he's still staying around top lane. 
And Penfin has no mana, no HP, so this guy's just a free kill. Or forced to ult for it, yeah. Leaves the top lane wave for Atrix, actually. And then he does the Herald. And that was basically the video. So, um, yeah, some small uh, adjustments. So the invade part, uh, I didn't know that was very useful and uh, nice to know. The EW pull onto Crux was also kind of nice. Uh, trading free camps for Drake, I kind of already knew. Um, but yeah, not a bad video at all. I uh, definitely learned from it. So uh, I'll try and uh, use some of these tactics that uh, was showcased here from uh, Bo playing Graves when I play Graves. And uh, I'll see if I can get just somewhat close to uh, the results that Bo has in his games. So if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like. If you have any questions regarding this uh, strategy, then uh, leave it in the comment section down below. And otherwise, let me know what other videos you would like me to react to. Just uh, give me the name of the video and then I'll react to it in the near future. Otherwise, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And then I just want to say thank you for watching. And I hope to see you guys in my next YouTube video or on my next live stream on Twitch. See you guys.